Concepts is one of the most intriguing drawing apps available for the iPad. At first it looks like most standard illustration apps, but it's really this kind of cool sketching CAD vector program. The app is a free download from the App Store, but if you want the full featured set, you're gonna have to pay $6.99 in add-ons. They break them into smaller chunks that you can download one chunk at a time, but I think that if you want the full experience, and you probably do, it's worth the $6.99 just to download everything. So that's like buying a burrito or a short Uber ride. You pay for quality, people, and Concepts is a good app. I showed little glimpses of Concepts in some of my other videos. And one of the most frequently asked questions is, what is that when people see the color wheel explode or some cool other interface thing happen? These are nice little interface touches. Whenever you tap on a brush, you see it spin out. Whenever you tap on a color, you see it spin out. But past that interaction, there's some cool set of tools available to you too. Every tool's options appears like small text links along the left-hand side of the screen. There I can change color, brush size, transparency, or wiggleosity. Wiggleosity, I don't know, it's a good word. It's kind of where those vector features come into play. If you like a more natural sketch, I want it to look exactly the way that I drew it type of thing, I set it low. If I want the lines to smooth out for me and have more natural curves to it, I kind of tune it upwards. And there's a lot you could do with lines and concepts. All these lines are just vector shapes. So I can zoom in pretty far and they're not gonna pixelate. You can also select any of these lines after you've drawn them and move them around individually. Along with moving it around, you can zoom in, you can rotate, you can stretch it, you can flip it, recolor it, duplicate it. All this without your lines getting warped or becoming pixelated. There are also other tools that go along with the lines that allow you to draw arches or straight lines or different kinds of angles. What really draws you in when you first start using the app is that color picker. Not only is it fun to open and close, but I'm a big fan of how it has all those different color blocks I can choose. Personally, it just fits my style really well because I use a lot of solid colors, so finding the color that I want to use again is really easy. Now, if you're the type of person who likes to blend colors together and that sort of thing, you probably want to stay away from concepts and move towards something like Procreate. Now, the one thing that I did find quirky about the app when I was using it is the eraser and how the eraser works. In most drawing programs, how an eraser works is if you drag it over a line, it erases that portion of the line. This eraser acts more like a layer mask. That's good and bad. That means that you can re-expose different parts of the line or change that mask as you go. But it also means sometimes you accidentally move the mask or modify that mask or put another line underneath that mask without realizing it and you've erased pieces, portions, or hidden pieces that you didn't mean to hide. This isn't a killer here, it's just one of those things that took me a little bit of time to kind of get used to and realize that I could have just used the eraser the way I wanted to. I imagine that Concepts had technical illustrators in mind when they were designing this app. But at the same time, I found that their tool set works really well for my style of cartooning. Strong lines, solid colors, that sort of thing. There are a lot of grid options available as well. There's your standard grid and a dot grid, some others, including an isometric grid, which is something that's near and dear to my heart. Now, the very first time you get the app, it kind of overwhelms you with information. There's a whole multi-step tutorial that points out all the little details and all the features as soon as you get started. I'm more of a let me get into your drawing app and explore it and check it out myself sort of guy. Since not all the features like the erase tool work the way you expect them to, those tutorials are actually really kind of important. But if you've never used the tools before and don't have any context, all that information is just meaningless and just blah. Of course, there's a help link, so you can go back, revisit those, and see them all over again. Also, since the app is a free download, while you're seeing these tutorials for things, it's also telling you that a lot of the things that it's introducing you to, you have to buy to use. I mean, I don't mind paying for things, it's just hitting you over the head with it as soon as you start off before you're really drawing and know if you enjoy the app. And like any good drawing app, there are layers. You can lock them or turn them off, but one thing you can't do is rearrange them. This bit me in the butt once or twice. Usually I draw my outlines first, and then I add a color layer, and I move it underneath that ink layer. But if I go and create that layer, it sits on top. That means I can't move my color layer back down. It's just one of the quirks of the app. Now, I admit there might be a way to rearrange the layers. There are a lot of tools in this that just don't quite make sense to me. Like it feels like there's more features there than I truly understand. For example, there's this little detail that tells me I'm either in manual or automatic mode with my layers. I have no idea what that means. It also implies some underlying complexity that is just outside of my grasp. It's like in Photoshop where you know you can do some amazing effect, but you have no idea how to get to it. I felt that way a lot in concepts. And I think part of that is because it's geared towards that technical illustration, CAD drawing, audience and not your casual illustration audience. Another thing that's really nice about the app are some of the export options. For example, I can export into AutoCAD. I don't have AutoCAD, but I'm assuming it's pretty cool. Not AutoCAD itself, but being able to export into it. Although maybe AutoCAD's cool, I don't know. Let's move on. I can also export a Photoshop file or an SVG vector file. Now I did try to open up that SVG file on Illustrator on both my PC and Mac. Unfortunately, it didn't work on either. It Both times it crashed Illustrator. So it's kind of cool that it can export to vector, but right now it seems like there's either a problem with 
with Illustrator or there's a problem with this app exporting SVGs. Not sure which. You can also export to things like iCloud Drive or Adobe Creative Cloud. So overall, this really is one of my favorite apps to draw in. And the more that I learn about the features and some of the quirks and how some of the ways that they work, the more I like it. And did I mention the cool color spiral picker animation thingy? Yeah, guess I did. So I guess I did cover it all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I have some more reviews for iPad drawing apps coming up in the next couple weeks. Thanks.